Hey everyone, Ewok Hugs here, and today I'm gonna do a lot, actually. I'm gonna completely clean up this code that we've been working on for our calculator, and I'm just gonna make it ten times more efficient and just a lot better. We're gonna start by doing that, uh, start on doing that by going to our main window.h, and we're just gonna get rid of all these numbers, all the number methods. We're gonna get rid of um, all the Q push buttons that have to do with numbers. Not the operation buttons, not yet at least. Um, the next thing we're going to do is go to void button pushed. And then we're going to also create a signals. And the signal is going to be called uh, number emitted. And it's going to int number. And um, this will all make sense. Uh, basically, the void button pushed is why why are we creating 10 different methods for something that does pretty much the same thing with only just one small difference. So with button pushed, we can <laughs> gotta get a lot more done and a lot less code. Um, same with this next thing we're going to do, which is going to be Q push button buttons. And it's going to be a, an array of 10 buttons. Um, 0 through 9, 10 buttons. So now we have a Q, we have all these Q push buttons instead of, in one line of code instead of 10. Um, now let's go over to our main.cpp and let's start by going down here and just deleting everything up to 0. And then same with in here. All these buttons. All these buttons. There we go. Okay. Now let's start this by creating the button push method. Um, and, and then the next thing, we'll just leave that there for now. And the next thing we're going to do is create a for loop. For an i is equals zero, i is less than ten, i plus plus. And this for loop is gonna initialize initialize all these buttons like we were doing up here. Um, it's gonna initialize them all at once, which is great uh, because we just get it done. Okay, so the first thing we are gonna want to do is create a Q string. We're gonna name that string digit. And we're going to set that equal to Q string number uh, uh. Um, What this is doing is creating a string that we're naming digit and it's setting whatever i is equal to that digit. Um, so now what we're going to do is actually create the button. So buttons at i equals new Q push button. Uh, digit uh, this. So it's setting the name of the dig of the button to digit, whatever digit is, and it's uh, pointing it to this. Uh, okay. So now the next thing we're gonna do is actually connect the button, like we did up here with all these. Um, so we're gonna do that by saying connect buttons at i um, signal release. Like this and slot is gonna be button pushed. Okay, so that's all we need it to do. Instead of 50 plus lines of code, we now have four that do the same exact thing. And this is real programming. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is get into button pushed. And first and foremost, what do we need? What do we know about this button? Well. When it, the button push, we know the UI label has to display what button's being pushed. Okay, so how do we know what button's being pushed exactly? Well, we do that by um, we do that by using whatever number is emitted from the button, um, if that makes any sense. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do is create a new Q push button, except it's not really a Q push button. Um, I'll explain in a sec. Push button. 
and then it's going to be a sender. A sender basically gets and sends different values to each other, and that's what this button, quote unquote, is doing. Um, and now the next thing we're going to do is say emit a number emitted. button, point that to text, zero, dot, okay, so what this line of code is doing is, it's emitting, it's grabbing the number emitted from the button that we just created, this button is getting um, its values from the buttons that are being created up here and this button is sending those values slash receiving them and this line of code grabs the values turns it into text and gets the digit value for them and now the next line of code is we're gonna because now we need to we created this int value up here called value or I mean this string um, object up here called value and we need to actually do something with that because we need, it's a calculator and it needs to remember the code and, or the number that's being put in. So we're going to say value equals um, plus equals, so it's value plus itself um, equals, um, let's just copy and paste this line of code, boom, and then we're going to say Q string. Alright, and then we're going to set label equal to, uh, or I mean, set text to value. Okay, so now we have basically our calculator, except code it a lot better. What is this to? Oh, boy, I'm sorry. A lot of errors going on here. I need this extra thingy. And what's going on down here? Q push button equals Q push button sender. Oh, okay. Um, sorry about that, we need an asterisk right there to declare that it's an object. So, let's get this going now. Okay, so here's our calculator. This is exactly what I expected. All the buttons are up in the corner. And, as we can see, they actually get into our UI label, which is awesome, because that is exactly what we wanted. Um, the only problem is, is the positioning of them but we're gonna work on that next time and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial sorry I went through that kind of fast if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and I hope you enjoyed because we did a lot today believe it or not we condensed everything into about eight lines or I mean yeah about eight lines of code and what was once 50 is now about eight so you should be proud of yourself because this is what real programming is, is making your code better. So hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and see you next time.